We got a train in Laredo. So there's your train. Here's my load. It's about nine o'clock at night. I got the lights on. Uh, I'm not sure how quick the lighting's gonna be, but air conditioner, 6,000 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight air conditioner, 6,000 pounds. So that's what we got going to Newark, New Jersey. So we got the big one in the back. Put my bulkhead in the back. Use chains to secure a lot of these. All the back five or six are chains, and then these front ones on these pallets are uh, straps. So I take it to the other side, but there's no lighting on the other side at all. So that's what we got. We're pulling out tomorrow morning, which is Monday, for a Friday delivery in Newark, New Jersey. Sounds like fun. I'm going to get a shower and go to bed. We're over here at the Loves in Vinton. Louisiana. So we got this load of air conditioners. I showed you that. We uh, it kicked my butt last night. I didn't get that uh, secured throughout the dark, and then we made that video. So I'll go out and show you in daylight. Got to get a better view of what's going on. Um, and we couldn't leave this morning. I wanted to leave at like 5 30, 6 o'clock from Laredo, the terminal. But I had a repower last week, and the guy gave me like two sh really screwed up tarps. Like they were, I, I tarped, I mean, I patched one of them put like four patches on it i rolled the other one out and the whole end was split like it, you couldn't even patch out and it was pretty much junk then i rolled a black one out and there was like i asked him i said he said do you want to take switch tarps he's like do you want to do a um you keep my black tarp i'll take yours i'm like not really i said i just patched mine i said does yours have any holes and he's like no so i was like okay if it don't got no holes in i ain't got a problem doing that so i gave him my good tarp i get down to laredo rule that thing out and there's at least 20 holes the size of your fist or bigger in his tarp that he gave me. I was like, I'm not even attempting to patch this. It's going to take me all day to patch this thing. So I ended up getting a blue tarp and I'm getting a black tarp. So anyways, that's what I got going on. Um, we ran 466 miles over here. Like I said, I didn't leave this morning until like 8 o'clock because I had to get them tarps and stuff. So uh, that's what we got. Let's go take a look at the load. So I got nine units. I got a couple of these small little things here, four or five of those. Like I showed you last night, I just threw straps across the wooden pallets. These things, the whole load weighs 6,500 pounds. These things can't weigh about 100 pounds or so. This was the first one I put chains on. So these chains kicked my butt last night, trying to get these things figured out where they would pull, hold correctly. We got these bigger ones in the back. I'm sure they weigh more than that. And then this big one back here. Actually, this one probably don't weigh much at all. It's just that piece in the center there. So that's what we got. And I put my bulkhead on the back. Um, I'm look at it from the other side here. So, like I said, these chains really kicked my butt last night. Um, but we finally got her figured out. And got it right at the room. So that's what we got. Heading to New Jersey. Not a lot going on today. We're over here in Birmingham at the Flying J. Pulled in here. Well, I thought they had a Denny's at the Flying J, but they don't have shit here. So I was going to get some breakfast at supper time or dinner time, whatever. But this Flying J don't seem to have one. They don't have anything in here. So yeah, whatever. We got parked over here. Um, we had a long day. You, well, not really a long day. For me, it's a long day. Uh, we did uh, nine hours of driving today. Uh, cranked out 530 miles. I said they wanted to do like 525. They kind of set myself up. So I should have like 488 the next two days, and we'll probably do like another 500 or more. And then on Thursday, we're going to go to the concierge and, and uh, park every night. At least that's the plan if everything works out. So we should have like a 450 day on Thursday. So that won't be too bad. We'll... Uh, that's two days away yet that's a long time but we ran uh, like i said we ran 531 miles today uh nine hours of driving left um where was i this morning hmm. texas no uh just inside uh louisiana and got the way up here to birmingham so um that's what we got uh pretty nice up here it's 50 i don't know 61 degrees 61 degrees at 
four four o'clock in the evening so not bad at all not bad at all but we're heading up north so it's going to get colder the farther we go each day is going to get progressively colder as we go farther north up into pennsylvania new jersey it's going to be fun but anyways uh, that's what we got we're going to take a 10 hour break here in birmingham roll out probably 5 36 o'clock in the morning and see how far we can get another 500 miles hopefully hopefully we'll see what, how it works out but so what we got so we're here in radford virginia um we drove five 494 miles to get over here today uh we come past i was gonna stop at a flying j back there in um Wytheville or something like that max meadows Wytheville, i think it is i think the loves is in max meadows but I mean, but that only gave me that would have gave me like 515 miles for tomorrow and i want to get up there and do some overnight parking so i come up the road about another 20 or 30 miles something like that we got like 488 miles to go for tomorrow so we're out of here around six o'clock 5 30 6 o'clock and we should get up there around 3 30 4 o'clock should be like an eight hour day to get up there um the only problem is we're gonna we run running into some snow on tuesday they got a snowstorm up here so it should be um cleared up for the most part especially like in the 50s on thursday and friday up here so my delivery is on friday tomorrow some um, thursday today's wednesday so we're gonna get up there they got overnight parking we'll park and get unloaded first thing friday morning um and the snow should be melting or starting to melt they only got a couple inches five six inches so it'll probably still be on the ground but everything should be clear at least that's what i'm hoping for anyways that's what we got we're gonna do a 10-hour break here get something to eat and then we're out of here like i said about six in the morning and get up here and get these air conditioners off we're over here at a mom and pop truck stop it's actually bought, bought out by the one nine there's my little load check here i like my post trip making sure my straps are tight all my chains are tight my tires are good everything like that i'm gonna like they're working so I like these little mom and pop truck stops because you don't got the bull crap that you got. Gonna be good to the lugs or the flying J or the pilot. You can see behind me. This thing is wide open. There's my truck. There's one truck there. We go to the other side. It's five o'clock in the evening. If I was pulling the love right now, there'd be so much, so much bullshit everywhere just causing havoc and we're over here at this truck stop this little mom and pop in virginia nowhere in virginia if you didn't even know it was here i've driven this road so many times i never knew this truck stop was here it's a little windy out it's cold here comes one clown coming through here you can see behind me there ain't very many trucks here there ain't very many trucks at all fuel pumps and if you look down this way the parking down through there all behind me wide open wide open wide open there's my truck so these are the mom and pops these are the places to go because all the idiots don't come in here because they don't know they're here because if it ain't a loves or ain't a pilot or ain't a flying J, they ain't got no little restaurant or something little mcdonald's or Wendy's or whatever, they ain't coming in here. So, at least not yet anyway. We'll see what happens as the night goes on. But like I said, it's five o'clock and this place is pretty much empty. That's the way I like it. We're gonna start stopping more at these mom and pops if it's up to me. And getting out of the loves and the flying jays and the pilots. Especially the pilots, I can't stand the pilots. That's what we got, we're gonna get something to eat.